As I explained last week, Mr. Savker, in order to become a practicing doctor in this country, you must take the standardized tests. The testing fee is $3,000. I am already a doctor, Mrs. Becker. I've already done my schooling. It's Ms. Becker, and not in Canada. You said you had a spot for me. And now I don't. You're on the waiting list. We shall contact you accordingly. Bullets and shrapnel continue to rain down on the city of Damascus tonight as the Syrian civil war. Fatima, my dear. How are things? I've seen the news. Did you receive my last money transfer? I'm sending as much as I can. And how is Amza? May I speak with him? Let him play. I will speak with him next time. I was like that at his age. I am still trying. It'll cost money and take time. Don't worry. I'll call you again next week when I know for sure. Hey, can you hear me? I think you should back the fuck off. Are you deaf? This man needs help. No kidding. I'm a doctor. I can help him. A doctor? You gonna mop up his blood? I'm a doctor. I don't think you understand the severity of this man's condition. I don't think you know what you just stepped into. Are you gonna let him die? I've never seen a doctor masquerade as a janitor before. Edvin, you let these punks put a hole in you. This man needs a hospital. Well, I don't know about we, but I will. Take it easy. Breathe easy. I think his lung has collapsed. You are a doctor. Son? Give him the bag. We can save him. I know. Get up and get the fuck in the car! Doctor, you are on the clock. Fix him. Victor tells me you're a doctor. I'm no doctor here. I'm 
I needed a hospital. We can't afford to take those risks. Kamal Sabka. Why did you become a doctor? What does that matter to you? I'm offering you a chance to do what you were meant to do. Tell me. I wanted to save people. We can help you do that, Kamal. Please, take a cab. I just cut myself. I'll be okay. Thank you. 